Okay, so we are starting grape day here. We have a whole sink full of grapes and many, many more to come. We're just washing them, picking off the good ones, putting the, you know, discards over here. Um, and then we're just gonna put them in some containers till we get a bunch and we can start making our grape juice concentrate. So we are still at it. We have um, five of these full now of cleaned grapes. They each hold about 1.1 gallons. Uh, we're still working on more grapes here. This one, you'll see there's a couple little green grapes in. Because I have a vine that does that, a couple of those, but isn't real productive. And we have more to work through and many more to be picked. But we need to start getting the juice going so that we can start canning some grape juice concentrate because we are running out of space. So here is the recipe to make the grape juice concentrate that we are going to use. So I'm going to do multiple batches in a large pot, but it's going to, we're going to start out with 12 cups of grapes and nine cups of water. And then we're gonna cook until soft. And I will show you what we do next. So here we have a very large pot and I actually have a four batches in one here. So there's, let me get this straight, 48 cups of grapes, 36 cups of water. And we're gonna heat this up and kind of mash it a little till everything's nice and soft but it's just on, on medium now. So you can see we're getting up to temperature here. It's getting warmer. <clears throat> the water kind of has a purplish hue. It smells lovely. You can see some grapes are starting to split, but we are not quite where we need to be yet. So we're gonna let this continue to heat up. Okay, so we're back again. You can see the grapes are starting to float a little more and we're getting some more color in our water. And also some grapes are starting to release their seeds. But we still wanna cook this a little longer. Okay, so now we can see the grapes have kind of lost their shape. It's just kind of like, for the most part, mushy grapes. And things are about finished here now. So now the next step is just straining off the juice. And you can use a couple different methods for this. Um, I use a combination. I use a combination of this mesh strainer and also these mesh bags that you can use for a couple different things. Um, people use these to make cold pressed coffee. And I will use some different collectors here to kind of strain the juice off. And I will show you how that kind of looks. So here's kind of what I have going on. I have some various containers straining the juice off of the fruit. Now you can allow this to cool. You definitely want to let, allow it to drip for a few hours, but you can also kind of squeeze these bags or press through the strainer a little to have juice that has some pulp in it. And everybody kind of has a different preference on pulp and grape juice, just like pulp and orange juice. So um, you can experiment with that. But I'm gonna strain off all these juices. And I have this other strainer over here going. And then I'm going to combine all the juice back together and measure and see how many cups I have. Okay, so here is my huge pot of the grape juice that I've strained. I'm still working on a little bit more to add to this, but there should be about 25 quarts of 
grape juice concentrate without sugar. Now you'll notice this recipe says for every four cups of juice to add one cup of sugar. Cook 10 minutes, then process. So you do not have to use this much sugar. What I recommend doing is tasting your juice at this point. Um, it should be about um, like at a concentration of half. So like if you take a cup of this concentrate and a cup of water, it should be approximately reconstituted um, juice amount and taste it and then add your sugar accordingly. So I am not adding this much sugar and I do not always add the same amount of sugar. Kind of depends on how my grapes are um, and just, you know, with the season. This is the sugar I'm adding. And like I said, I still have a little bit more um, straining here. I do put some pulp in. And you can kind of see here. Um, this is what's left when I'm done. So basically seeds and skin and a little pulp, but not much is left when my, gra my grapes are seeded. So I have just a little bit more straining up here. Um, now give those bags a few squeezes. We will heat this pot up with the concentrate and the sugar and get it nice and hot. And then we're gonna start steam canning in quart jars. Okay, so we are ready to load our jars. Excuse my disastrous mess here, my poor stove. It doesn't appreciate my canning. Anyways, um, I've got some heated jars here. I've got my little funnel. I've got my hot grape juice concentrate. And we are ready to go. So, what I'm going to do is fill these to approximately oh a little a little above half inch headspace. I um I really struggle with quarter inch headspace. It seems like I have a lot of trouble with liquid seeping out, but I feel like half inch is sometimes a little wasteful, so I kind of do in between the two. But I really like this funnel because it shows you on here. There the half inches or the quarter inches. Now, I'm just going to take off my funnel, make sure the rim is nice and clean, and put on my lid and top. And do you know that you don't have to sanitize jars anymore or lids if you're processing for over 10 minutes? phenomenal. I've got a video on it. If you haven't heard, you need to check it out. We're going to move this over to the steam canner here. And I'm going to fill my next one. So I'm going to get these all filled, load up the canner, and we'll get this processing. And we're going to process Grape juice concentrate only needs to process for five minutes, but we're going to process for 10 so I don't have to sanitize because I like not sanitizing my jars and my lids. Okay, so I have all the jars loaded into the steam canner and we are ready to rock and roll. And if this is a new thing to you or you're curious about this, I have a video about the fruit saver steam canner and you should check it out because it's a really cool thing. I'm just going to cover this juice up here and keep it hot. So we're going to process this, like I said, for 10 minutes and I will bring you back and show you when we're finished. So the processing is done in these jars and I'm just going to let them sit here to cool. But on a side note, I just wanted to share this with you. 
So this is a really old jar remover that I have had from, I don't even know how old it is, probably secondhand given to me. It's called, made by a company called Earthgrown. It's old, it's in pristine condition. And then for some reason or another, I lost that jar grabber and I had to buy a new one, maybe four years ago maybe five, we'll give it five. And it is just falling apart. Do you see? So moral of the story is, if you have old canning supplies, if you have old things, don't just throw them away because they're old, because they may be better than the newer improved model. Now, you know, once this rubber comes off, this is really important to gripping hold of the jars. So basically, it's kind of worthless. Um, it's getting to worthless right now. But anyways, just wanted to share that with you. So I want to bring you up to speed on the grape situation. So here I have a little over three gallons of cleaned, picked grapes. So those containers are totally full. That's all I have left. We ended up with 10 of those large baskets that I showed you. Um, two baskets I gave away to neighbors. And up to this point, um, here is 28 quarts of grape juice concentrate. Um, these are half gallon jars. I did three of those. And over here, I'm just finishing up my other batch of 28. I have some here, some in the steamer, uh, half gallon jars in here, and a couple there. So that's a total of 56 quarts of grape juice concentrate, which um, how that works is one jar approximately of concentrate to one jar of water. So two of these would make a gallon. So I have enough here total so far to make 28 gallons of grape juice concentrate. So that's a good bit. But these remaining grapes, I have to figure out what I'm going to do. I was considering grape jelly. I still have grape jelly left, though I do like using jelly as little gifts for friends. Um, but I'm also toying with the idea of doing one more reduced batch, I'd probably get about 12 quarts of juice concentrate out of it. Considering doing that, um, and then it'll be finished. It'll all be over. But I'll bring you back in the end and show you exactly what I've got. So here we are. Here is all of my grape juice for this year. There ended up being 70 something quarts of concentrate. Um, those are some large half gallon jars. I have given a couple jars away already. And over here, I still have a little bit left from last year. This was, um, I processed this a little differently, but the uh, method that I used this year is the preferred, the preferred method. Um, so there you have it. It was a great harvest and there could have been more, but I did give I did give some away, but I just kind of got a little burnout. And you can see that um, this is kind of settled a little. That's not a very good one to show you. But you can see the pulp here at the bottom. Um, it's been a while. See that? Let me just kind of shake it up. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video of grape processing uh, next year. Not sure how things are going to go with my grapes. I uh, had to make some provisions to one of my top producing grape vines. And we'll just have to see how that goes.